Hello everybody, good morning. Happy Monday. It is such a good day, so whenever you get on here, please say hi. Let me know that you're watching. I am just going to send this over to my group really quick. I always keep my computer pulled up because um, for whatever reason, I don't know if it's something, I'm almost certain to think it's something with my phone because it's like pretty ancient as far as the whole like, you know, whatever iPhone level is out now and what I, compared to what I have, maybe it has something to do with that, but um, I pretty much have to keep <laughs> my laptop pulled up in order for me to see any comments, so it is what it is, but good morning, happy Monday. <laughs> I hope you're having a beautiful start to your day. So, um, I officially, well, I think this is what, week two of this? Yes. This is my second full week of, or second week in a row, <laughs> of having just a day to myself for my business, whether I'm going to work on my personal development, you know, just in peace, work on my business, um, you know, all in one setting, do school with Django all in one setting instead of breaking everything up. Like, I've needed help for a while. <laughs> I've definitely needed help for a while. And it just, I don't know if anyone else feels super uncomfortable asking for help, but I have needed help. And I finally just got to the point to where I felt like, you know what? I have really, really big goals for myself, for my business, for my family. And in order for me to accomplish these, it is going to require me to dig deeper and work in a way that I have never worked before. And in order for me to do that, I need Coco help. So I finally ripped the Band-Aid off, <laughs> asked for help, and last Monday was my first week or my first day. So I have one day a week so far that I um, ha don't have Coco with me completely dedicated to whatever I need in my business. Um, you know, I always, I'm always working on my business, but it's, you know, there's times where you really need to have your own time to focus on things that you need to focus on and not just waiting until nighttime, you know, when my husband comes home and I'm drained and my creative energy is kind of down and sleepy. So, I decided to ask for help and here we are. So, and it's so crazy that last week, oh my goodness, <laughs> last Monday was my first Monday um, of having someone watch Coco for me. Oh, hold on. Let me get this situated real quick. And last Monday is when I got to see pharmacies, one of pharmacies CEOs in person in Orlando. It was so much fun. Oh my gosh, so Pharmacy is actually doing an on the road, it's called Pharmacy on the Road, so they're traveling to different states right now, and um, obviously I went last week when they were in Orlando, I have some girls on my team who are getting ready to go to the one in Nashville, um, I know there's one in Dallas on April 10th, because I thought, man, if I could find a way to get to Dallas before April 10th, I would totally go to that one, um, so if you are with Pharmacy, even if you're not on my team and you see this, please, 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 find a way to make it to one of these events. It's called Pharmacy on the Road. You can find all the information in your corporate groups. There's so much fun. And these, the Pharmacy on the Road is with um, our CEO. So I got to see Imre. From, the rest of the events are going to be um, taken over by Sanan. So it's gonna be so cool. I can't wait to hear from the girls that are on my team um, to hear how the Nashville trip goes. I think that's gonna be so exciting. Um, so cool. And if you see this um, and you're not with pharmacy yet, but you want to know where the where they're going to be um, the rest of this month, I believe it's just the rest of April. I don't know if any of these fall into May. I feel like they're wrapping everything up this month. They like literally are going from state to state every just about every day. Um, so and you're not with pharmacy yet, but you're curious to check it out and let me know and I can send you the information, especially if there's a state. It's mainly going to be like more of the western side now. Um, states, obviously not. You know, Tennessee is coming up. So if you're there, let me know and I can send you the information because um, you don't have to be an influencer to attend. 
if you, you know, obviously if you're interested in pharmacy, this is just going to like confirm everything that you have <laughs> going for you anyways. So awesome. So let me know. You can feel free to send me a message and I will, I'll hook you up with all the details that you need. <laughs> so yeah, that was really, really cool. I like to just use, um, you know, my Sundays to kind of reflect on the week prior. And I felt like last week was just so, so good in so many ways with, you know, starting the, that week off with going to Orlando and meeting more of the pharmacy corporate and Emre, which was one of our CEOs. Um, it just puts things into perspective way more for you. And, you know, I started off my week like that. And then we had end of the month with our team, which is just always, if you're in, um, you know, network marketing or direct sales, you know, the end of the month is like the time <laughs> to be here. Everyone is collaborating, pushing, like cheering each other on. There's always so much happening. It's just a really, really fun time. Yes, baby. Okay. We'll plug it in. You might have to use the one in my room, but you can do that. Um, and that's how our team ended up selling for, it's like 14,800 and some dollars. <laughs> For the month of March, um, which was insane. Definitely our highest month for this year. And we're just going to keep going up because we are so full of energy and momentum right now because of everything that's coming to pharmacy, everything that's here. It's just a really exciting place to be. And, you know, I know that I say this a thousand times over and over, but pharmacy is the reason that I'm not working full time right now. Like, pharmacy is the reason that I homeschool Django. It's the reason that I have Coco with me every day, minus one, because mama needs, you know, some business time to herself. And there's nothing wrong with it. Django, that one, use the one in my bedroom, please. That one does not plug into the wall. Okay. Um, you know, pharmacy is, pharmacy is it for me. <laughs> like, this is how... I had to switch companies. I had to switch where I was before um, because it wasn't it wasn't working for me anymore. I just outgrew where I was, and the vision that I have for my family like it required me to move. And a lot of times, when we're in that situation, we make ourselves feel guilty for wanting to move on because we get to this place this place of scarcity. We get to this like really like small minded just scarcity mindset. And we make ourselves feel like we aren't grateful anymore when that's, you know, so far from the truth, but just that scarcity mindset takes over. And even subconsciously, like when we want to do something new or when we start to do something new, that's bigger and that is going to allow us to grow in areas that we've never grown before. The reason that so many of us step back from that and fail in a sense, or just kind of lose it all is because what we don't realize is that our subconscious mind starts to freak out. Okay. We are doing all of these different things that require growth and are going to give us growth. And our subconscious mind isn't wired like that. Like we're so used to just this straight line of how life should be, how society tells us we should be living. And the moment that we start to do things different, our mind starts to freak out a little bit and that's okay. That's normal. But what you need to know, it's essential to work through those. Like, just know, okay, this is part of the process. I'm just going to breathe. I'm going to give myself some grace. I'm going to meditate. I'm going to keep journaling. I'm going to keep expressing gratitude. And it gets so much easier. Like, you have to push through that cycle um, to get to the growth that you're wanting to get to instead of just giving up and feeling like, okay, well, you know, everything's out to get me now. <laughs> um, because sometimes it'll feel like that when we are trying to go for growth and it's just yeah there's just a lot a lot going on in like the best way possible and tonight I am hosting like the quickest event in the world <laughs> um I know a lot of us are like burnt out on Facebook events and social media events in general and I get it um but that's why I'm doing a power hour so what that means is tonight from eight to nine, that's it from eight to nine. I'm going to be posting all 
makeup basics. We're gonna go start from the basics, primer, foundation, why you should wear primer, which primer is best for you, which foundation, um, which concealer, which shades, color matching, like the whole nine yards. We're gonna take everything back to basics, super simple, and it's only an hour. <laughs> Um, and then at the end of the event, I'm going to be placing two or, or two separate orders. So it's going to be free shipping one for my locals. It's going to be a big bulk order. Um, I already have my list here of who's ordering, who's, or who's ordering what. Um, and then I'm also doing a, a free shipping for my non locals So people who do not live within driving distance for me to deliver their products. <laughs> um, and all of those. I'm opening that up to three non-local people because this is just for the makeup event. I'll be doing skincare. Um, I'm actually going to do that next week because I just want to keep the momentum flowing, um, stay in the rhythm of what it is that we're trying to do right here. So tonight from eight to nine is all about makeup, all the basics. I feel like I am a really good person to learn from when it comes to the basics and you know learning how to just get started with makeup because I knew nothing about makeup until I got into this industry. Um, I wore the same foundation, like my makeup consisted of foundation, excuse me, mascara, um, chapstick, like literally like Burt's Bees chapstick. <laughs> um, foundation, mascara, chapstick, eyeshadow, but I would only wear one, sometimes two, and if I did wear two eyeshadows, guess where they went? Right on top of each other. <laughs> so, that's all that I knew how to do. I had no idea how to contour, how to wear blush, how to highlight. Um, I had no idea how to wear eyeshadow properly, how to apply it properly. No idea what to do with my brows, hence this amazing, super easy brow mascara. Watch how easy this is. So you can see my brows now, okay? Watch this beauty. Just a few little swipes. We're gonna keep all of our brows going the same way and bam. Look at how much of a difference. This side just looks kind of droopy and this side all of a sudden looks like, hey girl, right? So much nicer and it's so simple. So simple. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so I'm just super excited. I love, you know, taking anyone that has like no makeup experience whatsoever to my level because that's all all I am. Super basic. I love I love basic, more natural looking makeup, but I know how to do the glam. I know how to I know how to work my way around it. I know which colors look best on which skin tones. So tonight from eight to nine, if you are interested in learning more this will be the perfect opportunity. And it's literally, that's it, eight to nine, William bam, thank you ma'am, you're all done. You'll know what you wanna know, what you need to know. And then of course, if you um, need help color matched afterwards or during, please send me a message. That's all that I do is color match people. <laughs> and I will get you taken care of. I know that makeup is intimidating and it doesn't have to be. So I'm just here to remind you that it does not have to be intimidating at all. Okay. So that's tonight. If you would like um, an invite, let me know. If you're already in my VIP group, then you are already set. And even if you, if you already know what you want to order, if you're wanting to order something and you want free shipping for tonight, let me know. Most of the people on here, like I have a skincare order. Um, I have a couple ladies get it. Actually, I have three people getting the new whitening toothpaste, which I'm so excited about. Um, mine should be here today or tomorrow, but all of the pictures I've been sharing are from people that have, only, have used it only one time. So I'm super excited. So I have three orders of that on here and then that one's makeup and skincare as well. So if you already know what you want and you're just wanting free shipping, go ahead and send me your message with your order now. That way I've got it taken care of. Um, don't wait until 9.30 to send me your order because the orders are already going to be placed. So that's why I always say send them to me early on or obviously, you know, during the event tonight if you're messaging with me that, and we're having a conversation about what it is you should or shouldn't be ordering, then, you know, I'll make sure that your order is placed. But I like to keep things flowing, you know, on a schedule so we can, so I'm not up until 10 trying to place this order. Oh, you know what? I'm going to put on my, um, my eyelid primer. Darn it. I'm all excited about free shipping. Let me try to get this off of there. But I forgot what I wanted to do. Um, that dried really quick. 
All right, I'm gonna put on some of this. This is um, eyeshadow primer. And I normally just apply it with my finger, but yesterday, for whatever reason, I applied it with an eyeshadow brush and I really liked doing that. So, I'm just gonna put some up here. Pack it on there. So, eyeshadow primer, which you will learn tonight in my event, is really really good for your eyeshadows for one <laughs> imagine that it is going to help your shadows stay on all day if you are someone that has oily eyelids you've probably noticed that your eye your eyeshadows even your eyeliners tend to run throughout the day or they just you know don't stay put at all it looks like you don't have any on you know halfway through the day um, this is what eyeshadow primer helps with. It's also going to allow your products to appear more vibrant. It just gives them an extra pop of color. It helps them stay on longer, stay put, stay in place, whole nine yards. Eyeshadow primer is definitely a must. And something that I love is look how much brighter it made my eyes already. Like I could easily just use this today and that's it. But I am going to use my liquid shadow. This is Glow Tulip. Yes, baby? I have two. What? I have ticks. <laughs> ticks? Uh, cheeks. Cheeks? Yeah. Um, are you still working? It has to be Oh, it does? Okay, well here, do this. Go get your pencil off your desk, please. No! Shh, yes. Come do this for mommy. <laughs> okay, so this is the Liquid Eyeshadow Glow Tulip. These dry really, really quick. Isn't that pretty? I just wanted a pop of pink. I don't know, I don't feel like doing... I feel like my hair needs washed, but I really just wanted to, like, stay focused and stay doing what I'm doing today. So I'm like, well, I'll just throw my hair up, but I'll at least have a pop of color on my eyes. So for applying liquid shadows, what I like to do, what I have found that works best so far is when you pull this out, you have a ton of product on your wand, okay? So I like to scrape it off. Just like you would liquid, um, matte liquid lipstick. This is the exact same thing. And now I've got very little product on here and I'm just rubbing that, whatever's left, on my eye. This is going to dry really, really fast. And then if we wanted to do another layer, we can as soon as this dries. Same thing as liquid eyeshadow. So I think that that is what I'm going to do. That's the new book that you wanted to work in, Jingy. Okay. So, this one's super, super easy. You're just writing how many there is of each object. That's so easy. Okay, so there shouldn't be any mistakes when I go to check it, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, so this eye has one layer. I'm going to put the second one on now. And that is so, so pretty. Such a pretty um, spring and summer color. And I'm still just doing a light layer. It doesn't have to be anything thick and crazy. On this eye. Oh, broccoli. You like broccoli? That's what we're having for dinner tonight. <laughs> you guys eat veggies every night for dinner? No. You have to let me know. We do. We always eat veggies for dinner. Talking to everybody. Do your work. I was talking to you, but you distracted me. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to. I've already highlighted with my light ivory concealer. What I'm going to do now is contour. So I'm going to use the bronzer from the Peach Bite palette and go in with an angled brush and just start adding some warmth to my face. Just a little bit. Definitely blend it out. Yeah. Unless you want a harsh line. Okay, go to the next page. So How much pages do I have to do? 
Jenny, we have a full day, so a lot. Okay, so I'm just going to blend all this out so it looks, you know, more natural. Mom, what do I do? Um... No, you're just going to count how many are there. No, this one's, how many are there? Two. Okay, so you'll put two there, and then how many is this? One. But how many is two plus one? You'll put that answer here. Yep, you're going to add all of them together. Mm-hmm. Okay, because see, look, it says you're going to write the two here, and then the one here, and then this says how many total, and then it tells you right there, and that's what you write. <laughs> so three. Yep. And then I'm going to use the bronzer from that palette and add some more to my eyes. Just like that. And I feel like this really just kind of helps pull your eye look together. And I'm going to throw on some liner, lip color, and mascara. I'm actually using a colored liner today, too, with my pink, pink eyes. That needs to be blend out a little more. <laughs> Okay, and now I'm going to, I'm actually going to wear my green eyeliner today. I don't know what this is going to look like with, um, with pink, but, hmm, yes, baby. What is it? No, 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 we're not doing orange juice right now. Okay. <laughs> Isn't that green so pretty? This is one of the metallic, metallic colors. But this is the green. Jingo. <laughs> There's that. Oh, if you can see, I think, yeah, you can see that green. It pops really well with the pink. This glides on super, super easy, too. Mm -hmm. Not pretty. Yes. I mean, you can obviously make it a little darker if you want. It's so pretty. I like it a lot with the pink, too. I know how I know how you feel. Well, this isn't the only spot at the table you have to sit. <laughs> you can very easily. Um, you have a desk. You have a whole desk in the main cave. Wouldn't that be nice to sit at? Why don't you go sit in there? Okay. Well, I'll be done in just a minute, and then we'll, we'll start. But I have I need you to do that. Okay, so this is my L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara Primer. Just put a thick layer on there. And it kind of self-explanatory. It just helps add volume. Mama? Yes, baby. Why yes, are you yes, yeah. I don't know. I need you to focus on this, not on the what's on the computer. <laughs> Math is pretty much the only independent work that I can give him. 
normally. Math is, Math is his favorite. Math is so easy. 3 plus 3 is 6. Everything's so easy in math. Yeah, so the original math book that we have, or the curriculum that I got him for the school year, we pretty much have to work in the back of that book. Because um, a lot of it was kind of like super, super basic stuff that he already has down. Um, and math, it truly is his favorite subject. So we always start with math first because I would rather give a boost of confidence, you know, to start the rest of our um, our lessons. It just makes it go way smoother. But he is a math fanatic. Yes, so so pretty. This is my favorite mascara ever. Ever, ever, ever. This is the Star Look Mascara. I know last week I used um, Zen Mascara a couple times just to show you how well it worked as well. It's only $8.90. This one's $19.90. But this is always my go-to. Like, I'm obsessed with Star Look. And because I use the primer, like, sometimes I feel like I really need to separate my lashes after. Like, it doesn't matter which mascara I use, the primer just really, like, thickens them up. So I like to use a clean wand whenever I'm done to separate them. Because I don't like my lashes being all, like, stuck together like spider legs. Um, I like them to be, you know, nice and flowy and separate. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else is like that, but that's what I like. I'm actually going to be wearing two of our new liquid matte lipsticks in just a minute. So we <laughs> we were. Um, our, one of our CEOs had an article put up about him and um, our new liquid matte lipsticks. So the first time, the first two times that those came out, we sold out in less than two hours um, and sold $3 million. $3 million in lipstick sales. Like, that's insane. So then this past Friday, they gave us a surprise and said, oh, we've got another 70,000 units for sale um, on your website right now. Like, I think I had a five-minute warning, <laughs> um, if that, and I knew two people off the top of my head that really wanted those lipsticks. So I was able to message them and get a response back quick enough to get their stuff ordered. So I sold three of them before they sold out again last Friday. Um, so if you are wanting any of our new lipsticks, please let me know because sometimes, sometimes I don't always have like a big, um, do your work. Sometimes I don't always have a big window frame to like let you know, like Friday I knew like literally five minutes ahead of time. Sometimes I know a few days, but I like to know just in case, you know, who wants what that way when it comes back. If I've got five minutes or one minute, I can be on the system, ready to rock and roll, get your products ordered, and and just be done with it. So, if you, because, you know, if I only have five minutes for an item that hot that sells out every single time, um, and I have to wait for you to, you know, get back to me, and it might take, you know, who knows? who knows what you're doing, whatever time they're going to launch back, right? So you might not always be like readily available um, to get my message or to read my message when I tell you that, hey, oh. your lipsticks are coming back in like two minutes. <laughs> Which ones did you want? So that's why I always say, let me know ahead of time. I always will keep a pre-order pre list ready for anything. For what? For you to get me my, um, for you to check my list. Oh, well, I'm not done yet, honey. You just keep going. Okay. Let's go to this one. You're doing great so far. Oh, that one's super easy, too. What um, is it? What do I need? That one. Oh, plus you. Yep. Oh, my goodness. What? 
two plus two. The easiest thing in the whole world. Well, that one's already done. They did that one as an example to show you. That one got a little bit messy. But that's all right. That'll be an easy, easy cleanup. Yeah. Easy clean. <laughs> okay, now for my lip colors, I'm going to put on, this one's barely there. So this is, both of these lip colors are the two new ones that we launched. We launched eight brand new ones. Um, I have a video of the swatches if you want to see what all of them look like. Um, just let me know and I'll send that video to you in Messenger if you can't find it on my on my um, profile. So I believe I did them not last week but the week before. Okay, so that one is barely there. And now this one is Cool Beige. So this is number two. Cool Beige. So, I like those together. It's just a super, super light ombre look, which really, like the best thing, the, I guess really why a lot of people will do ombre looks is because it makes your lips appear fuller. Same reason, you know, that's a big reason people wear lip liner because it makes your lips appear more fuller. But that's that. Super, super easy look. Um, if you would like invited to my quick power hour tonight please let me know it's literally back to basics with makeup um an hour long so it is short it is sweet it is informative there's going to be a giveaway no purchase necessary to win um and then again at the end is when i'm going to be placing my bulk order bulk order for locals that's going to be one big order and then i have my list here going for my non-locals as well for non-locals that want free shipping sent excuse me, send me your orders. Keep working on that, please. Um, send me your orders. If you need anything at all today before the party starts, let me know and I'll be happy to help. Have a great Monday, guys.